Welcome to the MECO Graphics training video. This video demonstrates how to use CAGRs in your MECO Graphics charts. The CAGR, or Compound Annual Growth Rate, is one of the most useful measures for showing growth over time. You can choose to use percentage change, which would be the difference between the beginning and ending value in absolute terms, or CAGR, which would be the normalized growth over the time period. CAGR represents one of the most accurate ways to calculate growth of an investment over a specific time period, and it's helpful in assessing the performance of an investment over a period of time, assuming any profits from that investment were reinvested, aka compounding. So I'm opening this chart by double-clicking, and let's add our CAGR. I'm going to open the data editor by clicking on chart data and I'm going to add a column right in my data for the CAGR. For my title, I'm just going to list the date range 2010 to 2016. Now I'm going to use my formula, which is equal sign CAGR. And then my first argument is the first value separated by a comma the last value, which is H2, and then the number of periods, which is, in this case, 6. Once I enter that formula, the calculation appears, and I can propagate that calculation down to any other rows. Now I just have to designate this as a CAGR. So again, right from my data, I'm going to right-click, and under the show bar drop-down designated as a CAGR column. And there it is. I'll close my data. And here's my chart with CAGR. Let's look at another example of a MECO graphics chart using CAGR. So here's electric car growth. And you can see that this chart already has a CAGR column, which is great. It also has a legend. So let's double click this chart and I'm going to align the legend to the CAGR. So I'm going to go to format legend from my ribbon. And once I open format legend, I can choose to align my legend items to the CAGR. And now you can easily see which CAGR values go with each region. Next, I'm going to add a growth line to show growth. So I'm going to choose growth line from my ribbon, which shows the absolute difference between the ending value and start value. But I'm going to right click and say, instead, show me this growth line as a CAGR. And here you can see that the compound annual growth rate for electric car stock over this time period is 80%. So let's go ahead and close this chart. And I want to just pop over to Excel to show you that you can do the same CAGR calculation for a range in Excel. So here's a data range, and I'm just going to enter my heading there, and the same formula applies. I can add my CAGR, my first argument, followed by my second argument, and then the number of periods, which in this case is 8. And again, I can just propagate it by dragging my mouse down to however many rows I wish. Popping back over to PowerPoint, one more quick tip before we sign off. If you have trouble remembering the formula for CAGR, we've got you covered. Go to our quick launch and choose Stacked Bar with Growth. And this pre-populated Stacked Bar with Growth line already has your formula available. So if you ever forget, you can see that it's right here. And this concludes our training video. Thanks for watching, and if you have questions or want more information, please visit our website at mechographics.com.